Right now, owner operators are taking home 85% to 90% of the load's value, depending on if you have that authority or not. Right now, there is no cargo insurance payment and there is no rental trailer fee for six months. We are going to pay that for you. What's going on, everybody? Lockout Man here, back again with a new season of fresh calls for you guys. Yes, this is the Lockout Man podcast, and this is the MTC 21. Oh, yes, uh, yes, uh, 2021 in full effect right now. I hope you guys had a great, uh, New Year's Day, bringing it in. And let's hope this new year, 2021, will be better than the last. I'm I'm hoping and praying. And you guys already know that this is a new normal. Nothing that nothing's gonna ever be the way it was. Mask up, gloves on, everything. I I, I don't know how this new year is gonna is gonna be set, but I know the calls is gonna be great. So if you guys want to get so if you guys want to get your request in for the calls that you want to know about, yo, hit me up in the comments below, hit me up in the Gmail, and over at Instagram. The comments below, of course, the Gmail is LockoutMenPodcast at gmail.com, and you can hit me up at the uh, over in the DM. You can also text a brother. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna, if if you wanna do that, that's fine too. You can text me at two one six six seven three three zero eight one let me know what you guys want to call who you want me to call and if your drivers any drivers want to come on and spotlight any companies that you driven for or drive for feel free give me a text two one six six seven three three zero eight one well let's get into who we going to call uh, who are we going to call today uh who are we going to call today? MGR Freight. Yes, sir. We're gonna give we're gonna give them a call and see what MGR Freight has to get uh, has to offer for us drivers out here. Of course, I made the call already, but before we get into that call, I want you guys to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that like button. If you like what I do over here, support the channel by hitting the like button and everything else falls into play. That's the subscribe, that's the bell notifications. Make sure you do all of that, but make sure you hit that like button when you hit that play button at the same time because I'm thinking what I'm doing over here is value. I'm just saying. So MGR Freight, man, let's, uh, of course I went to go to do the research for this company and the first thing you do you hit youtube so of course with youtube up there's a lot of there's a lot of information on youtube um from drivers that works there mgr freight uh mgr lease uh the company themselves is promoting uh mgr so definitely go to you know your youtube and 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 check it out so you when you're doing your research but also let's go to their website so let's go to the bitboard and check out their website now their website is not much you know I, I when i looked it up if you guys want to check out their website their website is mgrfreightsystems.net we're going to click on the home right there. Um, clean. It tells you about MGR Freight System. The company it is a company that provides full logistics across the United States and Canada, starting as a small family-owned business based in Illinois. MGR is expanding into a nationwide recognized company they've been in existence for about 15 years company profile it's a transportation company uh let's see their history they started in 2000 when mgr started with five trucks as a family-owned and operated business not much on their on their website that gives you you know 
that gives you any information about you know about the dry uh about the driver and what they can what they can make uh they are a cdl company class a they owner operators they got trailer rentals lease equipment truck and trailer sales qualified truck and trailer repairs uh they offer financing with no money down uh no credit check 24 7 support let's let's talk about let's talk about their their lease support right quick so when i called the young lady she was telling me that they you know they do hire company drivers they hire them in at about 60 cent a mile but they're looking for lease drivers they they, they pushing they're pushing their lease drivers hard um this is a walkaway lease there's no balloon payment she says that you can own the truck in less than two years it's fifteen hundred dollars a week for the truck trailer and insurance so yeah let's see let's go to let's go to indeed and find out what it's like working there a uh, couple of drive couple of driver reviews uh huh five star it says all good mgr has pretty good freight newer freight liners for equipment he stays out two weeks and do about three thousand miles that's great all right friendly environment other than being from illinois i got no issues with mgr they keep me busy and help me when i need to go home all right all right that's all right Let's uh, see what the owner operators has to say about the company. Liars and crooks. Whoa. They promise you excellent pay after each load, but after two delivery, two delivered loads, I've not been paid. When I asked to be paid, I was told the customer reported damages. When the sign bill or late and have no mention of any damages, I returned the equipment, but still have not been paid. Stay away from these guys. They are huge liars and crooks. Don't lease any trucks there. Leasing a truck here is basically the modern day slavery. You will gross 5K, but they will give you four or $500. Whoa. They take so much money that you, I mean, that you work hard for. They make up all kinds of stuff. They will lie to you during orientation. They will take out 1500 every week to lease the truck. And that after 90 days, do the truck, do truck, they will reimburse you $5,000. An additional 2500 if you choose not to continue with the contract. Wow. After all this, af after these, after these are biased, once you start working, you will see a $1,500 deductible an additional $200 or more, which will say truck deposit. During orientation, they will not say this. They will change, they will charge you for everything that happens to the truck tires windshield scratches they will take a lot of photos the day you are taking the truck so that once the contract is over and you choose not to continue with it then they will charge you for anything that looks different on the truck such as scratches tire threads and yes how they will keep additional money that they were taking from you i mean taking from your check in the name of fixing the truck. Mmm. Valuable information here, guys. Poor communications. Too many hours, too many hours working. Does not pay for extra work you do. Terrible place to work. Good place to work if you want to live in a truck and pay for all the maintenance on it and the trailer. Not a good company. Mm, mm, mm. well when you do your research this this is what you do this is what you do again 
you know, you, you do your research to find out a little bit more on what the company is. But basically for you, they experience is not your experience. So when you get up in there, at least give them a month and see if it actually work for you. Now, let's get on with the call. Good morning, Hannah speaking. How may I help you? How you doing this morning? My name's uh, LaShine and I'm a five year truck driver. Um, I was just curious to know a little bit more about uh, MGR, what you guys have to offer. You mind if I ask you a few questions about the company? Definitely, sir. Uh, how did you hear about us? Um, you know, I was in a Facebook group, and you know, I, I came uh, I came across I came across some drivers that I networked with. You know, they was kind of talking about you guys, and then of course, you know, I started doing my research, and I saw, uh, you know, I saw you guys' Facebook page and stuff like that. So I decided to go from there. Um, I'm also on your website, but unfortunately the website don't tell me much. So that's why I'm, I'm giving you guys a call. Definitely. I mean, I can tell you everything that you want to know. Which position would you be interested in? Well, what position that you guys have available? Because right now you, you guys is, is, is pushing the lease program. Do you guys hire uh, company drivers as well? Yes, we do, but I mean, we offer very good lease and lease and purchase programs. You can choose, of course. We have a new driver program as well. Well, I, I guess uh, I could start off by asking, how long you guys, can, can you give me a brief background of the company? How long you guys been in, uh, been in existence? Definitely. Just tell me before we start, how much over the road experience do you have? Five years. Five years. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so we have been in business for 25 years. We have very experienced dispatch team. We work with good brokers. That means that our loads are well paid. Um, as I already told you, we've been in business for 25 years. If you were, for, for example, to lease with us, you would be getting the status of an owner-operator automatically. That means that you would be earning 88% of the load. That's usually from six to eight thousand on average. That's an average, so I'm sure as a driver that has been driving for five years, you already know that it all depends on the market. So six is the least that you can get no matter what the market is, six to eight. But when the market is as good as it has been in the past five months or so, most of our drivers were averaging eight thousand and up. It all depends on how much they are staying on the road and everything. Here we do not do for his dispatch. So okay, okay. So basically, so, so yeah. So eight. You say eighty-eight percent of the load. For guys that's coming into the uh, lease purchase program. Now this is a uh, lease purchase. So is this a, a walk away lease or a uh or bond lease like walk away you, you have to be bonded to the lease how no, much you are not bonded it's a walk away lease you can walk away um it's as i already told you 88 percent of the load for you 12 percent for dispatch and factoring goes to us okay so, so no no money from six. no no money down no money down no credit check 100 percent financing now the financing is through you guys right is this is not an outside finance company no uh so no it's through us as i already told you 88 percent of the load Twelve percent goes to us. 
But if you were to lease and purchase, you would be paying 1500 weekly for the truck, trailer, and insurance. It is all covered. The truck, the trailer, and physical damage, occupational damage, cargo insurance. It is all covered as well. I think that now would be a perfect time for you to apply since we have just ordered like 150 new trucks um, and you would be getting one of those brand new trucks. So you would be the first person to drive that truck. That means no bother uh, in the department of breakdowns or something like that, you know. So you okay, wouldn't so we be looking, breaking down or anything. So so, so I'll be looking at I, I'll be looking at a uh, hundred. I mean, fifteen hundred dollars a m a week. This is every week. Yes. And uh, that cup that that I'm I'm paying for the truck, trailer, and insurance. Now, as far, as far as as far as paying that much a week, I, I know it's going towards the truck for you know for me to purchase the truck. So, out of that fifteen hundred dollars, how much is it for the truck? Well, it all depends a bit on the year of the truck, uh, but it's this is why I told you in the very start. It's fifteen hundred for now for the newer trucks for the brand new trucks. I'm not sure how much exactly goes to the truck and how much for the insurance cargo. I mean, for the owner operators that bring their own truck, they would be paying 250 for the cargo insurance alone every week. So that's 1000 every week, uh, month for the cargo insurance alone without the truck, trailer, and other things, you know. So it is not really that much when compared to that you know right so after you know after the lease is up how long is the lease uh the lease is year and a half, less than two years usually so the truck would so be it's so usually the truck less would, than two years so the truck would be yeah, mine the truck would be your the truck yeah would, the in tr less than two years the truck would be mine plus in two years yes and plus Yes, uh, plus no down payment and no balloon payment. Let me just say this. This is a huge advantage since you won't be paying like some huge amount of money at the end of your lease just to get the truck that you have been paying off in the last two years, you know? Okay. So no balloon payment, no down payment, 1500 a week, uh, plus, as I already told you, 88% uh, of the money. is yours so yeah, yeah, that's yeah. usually I, I from that six part. to eight thousand on average but most of our drivers were averaging eight and up so we had solo drivers earning even ten it all depends and varies and how much you want to stay on the road since we do not do dispatch here so how long do you prefer to stay on the road at a time well, let let me ask you let me ask you this uh do you guys as far as lease as far as lease drivers go uh where where would I would I be getting dispatched my loads because you said there's no force dispatch so am I being dispatched my loads or am I'm looking on am I'm looking on you guys low board to choose my own loads uh, no, you do not, uh, you cannot really choose your loads, your own loads, you would be dispatched. But our dispatchers, as I already told you, are very experienced people. For example, when the market uh, that has been in the past five months, they wouldn't take anything less than $3 per mile. They will always ask you if you want to accept the load before accepting it. They will always send you the uh, rate confirmation with the rate and every single one of the details that we have about the load. So you will be getting everything, basically. Uh, the only thing is that you don't have to bother looking at the board, uh, reserving the, I mean, 
this way you don't have to co contact the brokers who knows uh, what brokers they are good and what are uh, brokers are not really that good you know we work with good brokers we have contact so some so when brokers have good loads they contact us first our dispatchers you know they have been working with them for years it's in the plus for the broker as well to have the load delivered on time to have the load delivered well you know so we do that and that is why we work with some of the brokers very well what's the hauls that we'll be doing is it refrigerated freight van or what, what what are what are we uh, hauling? So it's dry van, um, general freight. We don't do heavy metal. We don't do bailed. We don't do anything that can I mean damage uh, hazmat, damage the truck trailer on, or most importantly hurt any of our drivers in any way. You know we okay. don't do those things. But All we right. do haul general freight. Uh, we always have loads. That's not really a pro problem. As I already told you, if our drivers want more miles or want better uh, pay or anything if they are hard workers they really do not have any problems with our company you know all right so what i don't want to talk about the people who how long do you prefer to stay on the road at a time uh, it uh well week, it, it, week? It, it 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 depends like you know if you guys have like different lanes like if you if you run regional, then yeah, I would prefer to you know go stay on the road for you know that week. But if you run, if you run like OTR or something like that, would probably I would probably prefer to stay out for like two weeks or something like that. But unfortunately, since I'm 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 thinking of of thinking that you guys just doing lease, I will probably have to stay out on the road a little bit longer than than usual, considering the fact that. That you guys take out fifteen hundred dollars every week. Um, all right, so if I, you know, once I put in the application, fill out the application, get approved, and all that good stuff, uh, how would you guys get me up to orientation? And where is orientation? Uh, if you get approved, uh, you our orientation is held at Illinois, uh, actually Summit, Illinois, miles from Chicago. It lasts day and a half, basically. The first day is a drug test. Uh, the second day is uh, the meeting with the logbook department. After that, you can go on the road. I mean, when you get approved, I can send you every single one of the details uh, in the orientation letter that I sent to all the drivers that have been approved. So okay. you will know everything in advance. So Tell me, uh, we have been speaking for like 10 minutes, and I still haven't gotten your name. So. Uh My name's uh, LaShawn, and I'm a five-year truck driver. So, oh, my name's uh, Sean. Name? I, yeah, I said it in the beginning. Sean, S-H-A-U-N. Okay, Sean. So how about I send you our application form, you fill it out, and then we will go from there. Get you approved first, and after that, well, I'm. I mean, I, I can t answer all of your questions uh, right now as well, but. Uh, yeah, I, I still got. Yeah, I before I fill. Fly. Before yeah, before I fill out the application, I still got a few questions. I'll, I only have a few Go more ahead. questions. Um, so it's eighty. It's eighty-eight percent of the load. Uh, it's. Uh, I'm. I'm assuming you guys are ten ninety-nine. So, uh, us as a lease driver, we're responsible for our taxes um and and insurance and stuff like that but what other what other things do you guys pay out do you guys pay out like breakdown detention and layover yes detention and layover uh, is covered i mean uh what we usually and i mean what we do 99 percent of the time is if there is detention or layover uh, we ask the broker to reimburse. They always reimburse. As I already told you, we work with very good brokers. So brokers reimburse uh, detention, layover, everything. So th those are paid as well. All right. So fifteen hundred dollars a week. What equipment is available to us? You said that you know new equipment is coming in. So what is, what's the equipment that's available to us, and what's uh, what what are the amenities in there? 
I mean, you will be getting everything with the new truck. They are brand new. I'm not sure what uh, exactly comes with the new trucks, but I do know that you will have a refrigerator in the truck, everything. I mean, they are brand new, so I don't think that you will uh, miss anything. Okay. Uh, as far as being dispatched out, um, is there – well, let me rephrase that. Uh, what do you guys use for e-logs? Uh, yeah, we have a logbook department, so they will the one, be the ones that take care of everything for you. If, if you cannot remember how much hours you have left or anything like that, you can always give them a call. They're very nice girls there. Um, I mean, they will take care of everything. They don't let our drivers uh, overstep the time that they should be on the road or the time that they should be resting, you know. Okay, okay. Uh, so what we about, won't have any problems with that. What what about felons? Also, I forgot. Oh, you forgot. Sorry, come again. No, yeah, I'm I'm sorry. You say you forgot. Go ahead. I forgot to tell you. So we have 24/7 uh, department here that is always available to you for for anything. So if God forbid you break down, if you are in an accident, incident, anything, and I mean anything, they will always be available here to you 24/7. Okay. That's okay. That's what I forgot to tell you. Oh no, that, that's cool. That's cool. That's awesome. Um, what about what about you get? What, what's your guys' policies on felon? Like if if a felon if a if a driver with a felony background is interested in going lease with you guys, what what do you guys uh do you guys is it on a case by case or would you guys give them a chance or what? Yeah, I mean it usually does not really influence anything. We are looking at the capabilities of you as a driver, so if you have a good MVR, if you have enough over the road experience, I think that that will influence anything uh, at all. Okay, uh, I guess my last uh, my last question is like, what, what's you guys' uh, turnover rate? No, uh, I'm sorry. Come again. Turnover rate. What's the retention there? Oh. So it all depends. I mean, it's on case by case basis. Usually, dispatcher asks for much more money than the attention should be paid for. Some of the brokers pay the exact amount that the dispatchers ask for. They always ask for more. So I don't think that you will have any problems with the detention or layover rate. No, you know? no, no, Those no, 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 not, no, 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 not, 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 not that. That we we already touched on that. Uh, my my question is the turnover rate. Like, how many drivers? What's what's the rate of the drivers that stay in there, and what's the rate of the drivers that's leaving the company? Well, we are uh, we have a lot of drivers coming in right now, as witnessed by 150 new trucks that we are just ordering. So, um, I'm not really a lot of drivers. I mean, uh, you know, drivers leave when they're unhappy because uh, they want to lease and purchase, for example, but they do not want to stay on the road for more than a week, for example. And then uh, they don't want to do long weekend runs. They don't want to go to the areas that are uh, paid very well, you know, where brokers pay more money. So uh, those drivers are not really earning, let's say, a lot of money. They're earning as much as a company driver would, uh, and that is a problem for them. They want to lease and purchase a truck to have the truck be their own in two years uh, and to earn a humongous uh, amount of money, you know. And you cannot have it all, you know. Okay, okay. I mean, if you want to work, if you want to work very well, you won't be having any problems with us. We have drivers that have been with us for like 15 years and more. We also have drivers leaving in a month or so because they are unhappy with the way we function. I'm not telling you that we are like rainbow and unicorns. If you're a hard worker, you definitely won't have any problems with our company. We are a very good company. We pay our drivers the best out there. And our dispatchers really do care about the drivers. I have witnessed the dispatchers turning away loads uh, and having even more work because they want their drivers to be paid the best, you know? 
Okay. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, you know what? I appreciate uh I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, I definitely will take this information back to my uh to my Facebook group and let them know that I have uh talked to you. Um I am kind of, I'm, I'm for the company drivers. Um are are you guys hiring for company drivers right now or are you guys just concentrating on the lease? Well, we are hiring some of the company drivers as well. We pay sixty cents per mile, and you would be getting uh, at least three thousand miles a week. That's the least that you can get. If you want more, we can provide you with more as well. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, let me write that down. So, for company drivers, so if I decide to go company, you guys will start me at sixty cent a mile. Uh, th does it matter how much? Uh, how much experience I got on that it, to get more sent per mile, or is that a yeah. base? Uh, or is that a base coming in we the door? Pay 60, no, we pay sixty cents per mile to all of our drivers, company drivers, um, and you will be getting a brand new truck since we have just ordered those new trucks I told you about. So that's about it. For okay. the company drivers, I mean, we require the company drivers to stay on the road at least two weeks at a time. That is the only requirement. Everything else is up to you. If there are any areas you don't like driving in, for example, New York, some of the drivers don't like driving to New York, that's perfectly fine with us. We won't be sending you there. So it's all basically up to you, at le uh, except those two weeks. Everything else, you decide. All right, so cool. So if I decide to come, if I do decide to come with you guys, I can go company, and then from there I can I can you know get more information about the lease side of it while I'm driving with you guys, right? I I can do that. I don't have to jump right into the lease. Yeah, I don't have to jump right into the lease right when I get in the door. No, definitely you can do that as well. Uh, tell me, uh, do you okay. want me to send you our application form? Okay. Uh, yeah. You know what? You can uh, send. You can you can send me the information and application, and as and like I said, I will continue my my research and everything. You can send it to. Perfect, Sean. Okay, I'm sending you the application straight away. Uh, you will receive it, and if you have any questions or anything, I will attach my name my number as well as my direct extension so you not, can always contact me as well okay? not not a problem and if like i said if other drivers that might be interested in the company i would definitely pass this information to them mgr freight everybody <laughs> what do you guys think of that call i don't know i just felt a little rushed i felt that she didn't quite exactly answer some of the questions i just felt that she wanted to sell me on the lease program let's touch on the lease program for a second the lease program is fifteen hundred dollars a week and that covers for the truck trailer and insurance Um, <laughs> I asked her how much was the truck itself out of that $1,500 and I don't believe she was able to answer that. The, I did touch on the fact that I asked her what was her turnover rate. Uh, she, she kind of misunder, she kind of misunderstood that. And then when I turned around and, you know, kind of caught her up to it. Then she told me, you know, some guys stay, some guys leave, you know, for whatever reason, whatever, whatever. But again, I just felt that this company, you know, they, you know, they, 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 they push their lease purchase programs. And again, for companies like this before, I said it once and I'll say it again, companies like this before, it is not for drivers that's looking for 
retirement out of this company this company is for drivers that's looking to make that quick dollar the fastest way that they can uh i know you guys is kind of thinking like yo um lockout men 88 percent of the load that's good money right there and that is good money I mean, that is good money. 88% of the load, depending on what it is, you could probably, you know, she says they, they work with brokers that's getting you like $3 a mile at the most, like two fifty three dollars $3 a mile. That's, that's good money right there. I mean, you're looking at about at least, I mean, if the truck payment, the truck trailer and insurance payment is $1,500 a month, I mean, a week, bro, you looking at, you, you got to at least look at, three thousand dollars or more be a lackadaisical driver you you can't be uh you can't be that driver that that wants to go home every week you can't be that driver that wants to go home every week you got to be the driver that stays out at least about a couple of months at a time to make some good money to stack your money again these companies aren't for people that's want to come in that want to drive uh you know that want to go home every week or something like that you want to drive make your money stack your money save up enough money to maybe buy your own truck or stack your money to do something else that you want to do with trucking you know so mgr freight i uh i again it may be a good company you know for you guys to try out just you know give them a call if you want to give them a call their phone number is 708-737-4111 they are located out of they're located out of court countryside illinois it's a city called countryside there it is country countryside illinois 60525 i'm not sure how they're going to get you up up here uh i'm going to well i'm not even going to assume i'm just going to just base this on on what i gathered so far from companies that just lease purchase so they may get you up here they may not get you up here the orientation is only for a couple of days the first day is the is the um uh is the uh drug test and then i guess the second day you you jump right into your truck so they got the they say they got the freight they got good brokers you know she keep you know she keep saying that they got good brokers they work with just the best brokers so let's let's find out if if that's true if you're a guy if you're a company driver or a lease driver for mgr freight yo give me you know leave your comments in the comments below let us know about the company if the company's any good let's let's hear from you drivers that's that actually drive for this company or have driven for this company if you guys are interested in mgr freight definitely give them a call and see what they got for you guys that's gonna do it for this episode of Lockout Man Podcast, the MTC edition, the company spotlight, where we spotlighted MGR Freight. Well, that's it for this new season of MTC 21. I hope you guys enjoy the call. If you have any suggestions or requests of a call that you would like for me to make, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Let me know who you would like for me to call. If you don't want to leave it in the comments below, you can hit me up in the Gmail. That's lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com or hit me up over at Instagram. Leave with, leave the company that you want to hear about. All right? Support the calls, y'all. You know, give me some coffee. Coffee app and the, and the cash app is both in the description and, um, description or consider joining consider joining dollar 99 you, you you get whatever calls that you want bro i'm just saying i'm just saying thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate you guys listening watching all that good stuff let's have a great 2021 this year and let's see 
what all these companies have to offer. Maybe some have changed, maybe more money in the air. Let's find out what you want to find out. Until next time, everybody, y'all stay chill. Peace. I ain't little. <laughs> How how was you guys paying beforehand, if I may be nosy? How are we what? How was you guys paying beforehand? Um, Beforehand, it was just a total base rate, no matter what your experience level was. Oh, um, okay. And then that pay rate now is what our drivers would start out at if you have under two years of verifiable experience.